Um, my name is Carly Fridman and I live in Ubuntu. It is a intentional community co-op. Um, there's 16 students who live here, or like student age people. Yeah, it's a really nice place to live. I've been here for six months. One thing that ties us all together, no matter who's here, is food. Because we all have to eat, and we all really enjoy cooking together. I'm so One thing that we do as a house is Food Not Bombs, where we get all this extra food from Whole Foods at the end of the day, and we cook it up and serve it every weekend. And it's really a house effort. It's really great to be able to use that food and turn that food waste into something, you know, good for the community. Uh, we're about to go get the food from Food Not Bombs pickup. Carly and Erin have just picked up from Whole Foods, and we are transferring the food from the car to the sunroof on the second floor. Usually we do one pickup a week from Whole Foods, and we have two people go in a car to Whole Foods. They pick up the food that they're about to throw out for the weekend that is no good to them, and we take it, bring it to the house, and then on Sundays we cook it and serve it near the Moore stop in Rogers Park. So can I just have Food Not Bombs can be a little stressful because it's a lot of organizational skill and getting people to pick up and <laughs> to do cook and stuff like that. But it's also very rewarding because it lets people take leadership positions in like organizing both pick up and the serve. Everyone gets to have a say in how the food gets to get cooked and served. So it's kind of like an empowering thing for the community that lives here in this house and for anyone who's involved in the cook. Uh, overall, Food Not Bombs is a very community-based idea. We also have a housemate, Alex, who is really big into composting, so that's our newest project. He also has three chickens that live in the back. I'm stirring up the compost. Bringing all the decomposed stuff from the bottom up to the top to help the top stuff decompose. To create beautiful soil for our garden. Instead of wasting this soil and this energy, which is generally known as food waste, but I think waste is probably a bad term for it. We compost as much food as we can, and also we feed some of our scraps to the chickens. So. It all gets used and eventually they'll produce eggs for us, so yeah, it's a cool deal.